Can y'all feel these beautiful energies? Clap it up for yourself. Clap it up for yourself. Listen, the energies are all over the place. We got the full moon in Scorpio. We already know that is of going within, right? That is the underworld. That is very mysterious, but it is, it could be emotional as well, but you're going to have to clap it up because you are here, right? You are in the present. You are alive. And I want to thank you all for being here. And if this is your first time here, my name is Bella. My channel is Empress Be Healer. I want to give thanks to my day one subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. And to my new subscribers who have came along, my channel is organically rising. It is building. So guys, do not forget to hit the like button so other individuals, you know, to, can get to know me and they can rock with my energy. We are on a healing journey. We are on a healing path that never seems to end, right? It never seems to end. There could be some triggering energies at this time, but you know, what I'm really was like hearing was what is not gonna happen is individuals is not gonna bring me to a low vibration, you know, that I used to be in, that I used to be on. So do, for some of you guys, listen, you may be a beginner on your spiritual path, on your spiritual journey, doing that shadow work, healing, doing that inner work, in a deep, in a internal work, healing those inner child wounds. Those are very important. There's no, listen, there's no fast forward. There's no, listen, there's no shortcut when it comes to spirituality. So there's going to be a couple different videos that I have because I just got to give something for, for everyone, right? Uh, everybody needs, everybody needs something. And I, I am multifaceted, multidimensional, right? So beautiful energies guys and I really 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 I really hope that you guys are in the energy of love you are in your highest frequency you are in the energy of health wealth prosperity and abundance even when times is dark right because when times is dark it's like you know what let me take a break let me refocus let me redirect let me tweak some of the things that need to be tweaked in my life you know, everything is not always rainbows and cotton candy and, you know, this light fluffy stuff. Some of it is dirty. Some of it is messy. Some of it, you know, it is, listen, for some, it is snot crying. If you snot crying right now, do not feel ashamed of that, right? If you felt like somebody abandoned you, if you feel like somebody betrayed you or somebody let you down, Dust that all the way off. You know, you've experienced it. Acknowledge it. Be aware of it and, and keep it moving. Listen, the Holy Spirit is here with me right now. So I am already channeling to you beautiful, beautiful souls out there that are watching this. My videos are timeless. These are timeless videos. But for the sake of the fact that we are in the moon, full moon in Scorpio, maybe whenever you get this, you'll... It'll maybe be another full moon in Scorpio, but for the, for the sake of that, we are in May, the first week of May, and shout out to all the uh, the Tauruses. I am a Taurus, so shout out to all my Taurus bull gang right now, turning up. You know, it's funny because listen, for some of us Tauruses, we like we low key like for May, we like what. Y'all not going to see us and y'all not going to know what we're doing. Like, why are we like that? The rest of the year, we turning up on everybody else's birthday. But on ours, we kind of just like, you know what? Let me just relax. Let me do me. You know, let me, let me recenter myself. So you guys may be feeling that and you may have Taurus somewhere in your chart. You know, I'm already hearing, you know, look up what your ninth house is, your sixth house and your 11th house. Check out what those natal charts are. So right now, this is just an energy forecast as to what is going on. You know, what, what, needs, what needs healing? What you need to be paying attention to or you need to be aware of? There are so, so many distractions, aren't there? Okay, but I am hearing 
for those that are connecting with this, you're not in the energy of escaping. You're not wanting to numb. You're like, you know what? I have to get through this and I'm done with these same repeated old cycles, right? Sometimes I have to take a week off because the energy, you know, sometimes the energies are static and stagnant. So they, even though energy is always moving collectively, you know, sometimes as humans, it's, um, sometimes the energies are the same. So guys, be very aware of what you're watching and be very aware of who, who's in your energy, what's in your energy. I'm hearing, um, somebody is consuming too much. So, uh, you know, watch what you consume and eat sometimes. Uh, if you're in that energy again, I did hear listen, we're not we're not escaping, right? This is the fifth month. Five represents the change. So you may be seeing five five five, okay? Your girl is channeling. I am an intuitive reader, not a tarot reader, okay? I'm using the cards for sheer entertainment and intuitively reading the cards. We could do this whole message without the cards, but you guys that been here before, you already know that, right? But there might be somebody here that's new that doesn't know that. So they, you know, they just kind of like, you know, it's, uh, when you get that uh, anxious feeling. So if anybody has a, any a, anxiety, any type of that anxious feeling or that feeling of wanting to rush, listen, just take a moment. Let's take a moment together and breathe, okay? We're going to inhale, we're going to inhale real slow and deep and we're gonna hold for three seconds because we giving thanks to our heart and to our lungs and to our kidneys and to our mind and, and to our organs right and then we are going i gotta be careful because i got a candle here i don't want to blow it out so i'm gonna blow that way but we're gonna release it out right and what we're gonna release out is anything that's being sent to us we're gonna release out anything that is any type of worry any type of evil eye that's being sent to us we're going to release any type of negativity that may be stored inside us right because we're going to find out we're here for the truth we're going to find out what needs to be healed right now those that are connected to me and connected to this channel that is what you guys are going to find out all right so we're going to just do this we're going to do this breathing right okay let's get ready ready and get ready get set go wait if that didn't seem rushed all right, on all seriousness, let's go. Ready? That felt amazing. I'm going to do it one more time, all right? All right, yes, yes, yes kind of clearing that energy out so we're gonna get right to it collectively listen guys take what resonates leave what don't we just leave what don't this could be your story i don't know what's gonna come out again this is an, an intuitive spiritual reading what needs to be healed at this time listen this is like the weather this is the forecast it may be rainy it may be sunny it may be cold or it may be hot listen and when it is you got to dress appropriate for that, right? All right, so that's going to be the same thing we're going to do here, and that's going to be the same thing we do with these with these beautiful, beautiful messages. Thank you, beautiful, beloved spirit. Thank you. And I have Archangel Michael here with me at this time, protecting me and the viewer that is watching, as well as Archangel Gabriel for these healing messages. For the healing messages, I do sometimes pick up on things that pot potentially you could be ignoring medically and you may want to go see your physician or you know you may want to go see a doctor or you may want to go see a therapist we want to be healthy mentally physically spiritually and emotionally right <laughs> all is mental we want a full 360 wellness check we doing a wellness check right now. That's why I heard wellness check. Also, a lot of cards that want to come come out. So <laughs> there, there, there's some there's excitement. There's excitement. I'm also picking up individuals who their abilities are awakening. Okay, uh, you're trying to figure out what they are. 
Listen guys, start with your natal chart. Well, okay, we go, the first thing with healing we understand is that inner work, right? I'm gonna, I am feeling, picking up you guys are sort of already doing that. May have lost some friends, you guys are doing cord cutting, you guys are doing yoga and you're exercising, you are glowing, you are looking good, but there's always, listen, that's, that's external, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. You want to look good to feel good. For, so for some, if you got to, you, if you got to fake it, I don't know why I had a feeling this card was going to come out. If you got to fake it till you make it, do what you got to do, but you ultimately don't want to just do that. You really want to be organic or uh, organic. What is organic? You want to be organic with yourself. So we have the five of wands. And I don't know, I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I was picking it up. I was picking it up with the five of ones and the healing that is happening right now. There is an internal battle that is going on within yourself. There is this, there is this, with this internal battle, it really is about making decisions. You know, for some, if, you know, if you're not being gentle on yourself, you know, if you're having these negative thoughts and you're having these negative, these negative conversations with yourself, that is what you are consuming. That's what you're putting out there to the universe. So if you are trying to manifest and you're trying to see things and these things are not happening, this is the reason. You know, you're not going to sit there and you're not going to manifest and you, you know, you're not, you're doing your affirmations and you want to, you know, you're meditating. But if you're looking for this quick result, you're going to disappoint yourself every time. You know, for some, I'm seeing these as other individuals around you that is going through this type of conflict and you don't want nothing to do with it. Mm -mm. You don't want nothing to do with none of this drama. I don't know if you guys can see that. You know, you may be a fire sign, dealing with a fire sign. Again, you may be seeing 555. Five is significant to you. There's a lot of change that is this uh, erupting during this month. And again, a lot of you, even if you're not a tourist, you just really dislike, you not feeling certain old ways, uh, certain old places and certain old patterns. There's also other individuals who's trying to get you. When I first came on, the first thing I said is somebody is like, they is they are not with the, the shits and they're not with the drama. Some individuals is trying to pull you back with this retrograde. They trying to pull you back into an old you. All right? So you're ignoring them. Okay? <laughs> you are ignoring these people and this is driving somebody absolutely wild and it's driving them fucking crazy it really is driving them them crazy but again sitting back you are maybe uh, uh, observing this happening to your enemies uh to the karmics to other individuals let them bicker and let them fight they fighting with each other this could be family they gossiping they jealous they talking but you not you the sixth person because you got the sixth sense right you got the abilities, so you're not being a part of this, and you know, you've removed yourself out of this situation, and it's all crumbling down right in front of these people's face. Wow, I'm just gonna take the next card off the top of this, and we got the seven of swords. So, we got the air energy. You guys may, you know, if you're an air sign, uh, of people around you is an air sign, air sign is in your chart, seven of swords. So you have these individuals that are bickering, they are fighting. These are people who have stole from you. They have stole your energy. They may have stole your your um, your time. For some of them, they want to steal your inheritance. Individuals are wanting to steal your abilities, especially to the newer individuals who have tapped in and awakened their first eye. Right? You have awakened this first eye right here, and these individuals are real freaking sneaky. A lot of them are manipulating and trying to come back at you in some kind of way to cause some sort of conflict listen we got beautiful energy around us right you got beautiful light around you 
but we always know what's opposite of light is dark, right? And there's nothing wrong with the dark darkness because we know how to we know how to plant we know how to plant seeds in the darkness, right? We know how you try to bury us. You know what just happened? You just a tree just got made. Some you know some fruit just got made, but these individuals right here is on low frequency. They on low frequency, so they trying to figure out or they trying to use tactics tactics that they've used when it was your old you you know there might have been something you would have reacted to it or you would have responded to it so now you are uh, uh you're having this spiritual intelligence that you know that you don't have to react to everything that's being thrown at you you know how to take these fucking swords and throw them right back at a person so what's going to end up happening is these swords is going to turn into ten of swords and it's going to go in their own back these people are all going to turn on each other <laughs> I can't. Let me. Spirit says shuffle. Spirit says shuffle. All right. You know, if you're you're in you're in the Zen, you're in the Zen energy. You know, even if you did come from having to heal from something, you know, you may have needed to rest. You may you may have needed to take uh, some mental time off. And if you have it, you should before you burn out. Because that's what they want you to do. Some individuals is trying to contact you to see if uh, their evil workings and their evil prayers and their negativity has worked on you. So they're trying to contact you to find out did it work or not. Be, be very leery of who's coming back into you and who's trying to connect into your energy. Don't, don't, don't underestimate yourself, okay? Do not underestimate yourself. If you feel that energy intuitively, because some of you guys are now hearing things telepathically, okay? So we got the Page of Wands. You may be dealing with, you know, this could be for parents. You may be dealing with uh, somebody younger or a teenager who is needing to heal Somebody is maybe uh, has too much chaos. Somebody is dealing with somebody is dealing with too much chaos, too much uh, bickering, too much fighting. And also, I'm feeling like these individuals that you may have, may have been associated with, they're young-minded, they're immature. You know, they they start they they start. My throat chakra is trying to close. Oh shoot! Listen, guys, you got your water. Get that water. Get your water. You have this immature uh, energy. They need to heal. So what is happening, I'm just going to reiterate some of this. What is happening is that you have stepped away. You have stepped in your power. You are on your spiritual path. It may be, you know, it's hard, lonely. You know, for some you like, damn, I actually went through a depressing uh, moment. When you do that inner shadow work, it is very hard and it's very tough to face those demons within you. And when we say demons, people, they love using that word to scare you to not go within. Come on now, look up what the etymology is for that word. A daemon really is a genius. There's parts of you that they don't want you to acknowledge and run from and give your power to some invisible thing somewhere else when it really is within you. All right, so you have these immature people who are trying to light a fire underneath you. For some, I'm hearing change the battery in your. Um, come on now. <laughs> Sometimes I, when I get these downloads, these higher beings are not up, you know, with these uh, with these human words or these human terminologies. So. I, I gotta. Sometimes it's a little bit of a it's a little bit of a strug, uh, struggle. Your fi, your fire your fire alarm, right? Isn't it the fire alarm? The fire sense senses. Somebody's thing is beeping right now. Stop the video. Pause the video, and go 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 change that. So somebody needs needs to do that. All right. So they're trying to light a fire underneath you, but they see that there's a fire in you that they didn't see before. 
that they didn't see before. So you are almost unrecognizable. I got three of wands out. Yeah, you standing, listen, you standing up, you standing up for yourself. You have created these boundaries within yourself. You, listen, <laughs> they don't even, some of them don't even know where you at. So individuals that was pulling on you, you know what I'm hearing? You are an energy vampire's worst enemy. You are a narcissistic's worst enemy right now because you was their supply. Your energy was their supply and they are in uh, like a sandbox. They are in, they are like, they're in a dry well right now. I'm just seeing people very ashy. <laughs> Where's your lotion at? Why is your ankles and your hands so, I don't know. I don't know who's ashy, but I'm picking up ashy energy because you are glowing. You are in that fire energy, you know, working with Oshun. You could be working with Oshun at this time. I am hearing that beautiful energy and working with Obatala, okay? You may be working with Obatala. So the fire spirits, <laughs> the fire spirits are, mm -hmm. we work with them fire spirits, right? So fire may be something uh, that, that you are wanting to work with, right? That seems to come up a few times in some other videos. Guys, check out my other videos. Like the video, share, comment, hit the notif notification bell. So when I do videos and they upload, uh, uh, you would be able, you'll be able to get that notification, right? All right. So we got the hangman. You are all in your glory. You are all in your light. You is just like, I know the universe is abundant. The you know, I'm, I am sources. I am the most high God's daughter or son, right? I'm being provided for, I'm being taken care of. So you kind of just in this unbothered, unapologetic type of energy. It is fierce. It is powerful. This is the forecast right now. You know, stick to what stick to what you are doing. Continue on your healing path. You know, so now, now you guys have the heads up, and now you know this was the confirmation that they are they trying to come for you. It's it's okay. <laughs> Send it back to the sender. You can send it back the way it came or you can send it back with love. We have free will. Somebody here really is feeling the energy of freedom, right? You're feeling that energy of freedom. I'm a prophetess. So I do feel the energy is a little further out. So if any of this didn't seem like it was for you right now and you come back, just come back and double check it. Any of my videos, watch the ones two weeks ago. Watch the ones a month ago, okay? And just let me know down in the comment. Listen, guys, I really appreciate you. I feel the love. And if nobody told you today that they love you, your girl did. Empress Be Healer did. I love you. All right, guys, you take care of yourself and each other. Peace.